<coughs> yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe most of these motherfuckers should have did that shit before the damn show. <laughs> What's going on, my dudes? Mr. Sandman is signing back in and shit. Um, this right here is my thoughts on the BET Awards 12. Let me, for starters, um, I want to give shouts out to um, Joe, Tyrese, you know, Faith, the um, Brandy, the, um, the rest of them that did the um, the Whitney Houston tribute. Well, Joe and Tyrese and them, they did the um, Beverly and Mays tribute, and you know, Brittany and them did the um, <clears throat> the Whitney Houston tribute. They brought some class to the awards um, yesterday. Well, last night. Everybody else, oh my goodness! I didn't. Not the first thing is that I didn't even watch the pre-show. I, I I rarely watch pre-shows because that should just be so messy. Like everything looks all unorganized, unchoreographed, and I've never been a fan of watching the awards pre-show. Um, but the show, you know, the actual show. Um, <laughs> It's like motherfuckers wasn't even taking this shit seriously, you know what I mean? Like, there's certain motherfuckers that was coming there, like, wearing their fucking pajamas and shit. Might as well, like, niggas wearing tank tops, t-shirts, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, B, like, show some type of pride. I understand that you getting bread, you getting bread, yeah, but show some type of self-pride, man. Why y'all coming out there looking wild crazy for this dude, um, at first, when I seen Jamie Foxx, I'm like, Jamie Foxx, really? What kind of, what is, this, what, what the hell is that? This dude looks like, <laughs> oh, man, I don't even know. Like, he, like, he ain't combed his hair in days. And, um, that when I was saying that or whatever, and, you know, after that, Samuel Jackson said that, you know, he's co-starring with, with Jamie Foxx in a movie called Django or whatever that's coming out in October. So, I was like, okay, so he did that for the part. But still, all in all, it's like, nigga, the fucking, the, the film already, the shit is already filmed. It was already filmed, like, <laughs> why you still got your hair looking like that? The movie was already done. You know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> oh, man, fucking D'Angelo. <laughs> D'Angelo, you couldn't do some setups before you come, before you uh, make your return? You know what I'm saying? You could, um, you know, like, get yourself straight in the gym. Like, you just came through. Like, at first, yeah, the performance was all right, but they gave him way too much time. Like, he was starting to lose me. I'm like, yo, what the hell is this dude talking about, you know? And, <laughs> oh, man, that performance was, like, all over the place, like, I understand that's his style, that jazz stuff or whatever. He got his own sound of jazz, but they gave him way too much time. These dudes, um, the dudes that the dudes that opened up the um the show, um, um, Kanye and them, that was actually a pretty decent performance. I'm not gonna lie, Kanye killed the freestyle. I can't really complain. No, I have no complaints about that. That was a pretty good opening. And it was like, then the, everything else, like, shit just started getting boring. Like, like, and then Samuel Jackson, he was boring the hell out of me. I'm like, yo, come on. Like, this is, and this is supposed to be my idol right here, Samuel Jackson. You know, like, ugh, excuse me real, excuse me real quick, folks. I already said I'm sweating up a goddamn storm. It's hot as hell in there. But this is my idol right here. And this dude was he yo he was stinking it up with the exception of the um you know the real husbands of L A or whatever the hell they call that that was it was okay it wasn't like you know spline it was it wasn't on side splitting funny but you know what I mean it was okay or whatever but other than that like this dude it was like what what was the point of him even hosting any money bet if he wasn't hosting motherfuckers won't even remember him even being there. Like it was just, it was just horrible. Like and like, like I said, it started st uh, like after the first performance, shit started stagnating. Even Usher, like Usher, looked wild crazy. This dude was wearing all leather, tight leather, and then wearing some bright ass sneakers, some some bright ass pink sneakers, and the nigga hair looked 
Like, what's the deal with his hair, yo? Is he trying to get dreads or some shit? Yo, that, yo, his ex-wife is putting him through some shit. <laughs> like, he's looking crazy nowadays, yo. Who else? Who else? Oh, yeah, um, Maybach, of course. Maybach Music, they did their performance. This dude, Rick Ross, looked like he ate a person. I'm like, damn, Ross, you got even fatter. Like, come on, you got to... Like, I understand it's good to eat, you know what I'm saying? I love food, too, but G's and breeze, like, you going ham with the food. Like, <laughs> no pun intended. Like, you need to relax. You was going, like, you, you, you looking really out of shape. And then, and then what was the deal with the mics? Like, the mics that they had was awful. Like, they had mics from, like, the corner store. You know what I mean? Like the 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 audio and the, the whole show, like the just like half of the show, the mics was just sounding terrible. You know, and I'm like, oh man, what the hell? Like with the with Maze, Frankie Beverly and Maze um um performance. This dude Frankie Beverly Mike was horrible. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I ain't a lot. Some parts he it sounded like he needed to get a drink of water in him or something like that, but. Come on, the mics could have been much more better than that. Like, that's, oh, man. But overall, though, I didn't, as always, I didn't like it. Because it could have been better. Like, and it, it's like these motherfuckers didn't even care. They didn't even, like, like present themselves properly. But let it be the Grammys or some shit. These motherfuckers have come through all suited up and all that shit. Like, come on, how you taking pride in the um, Grammys, but you don't want to take pride in the, um, the um, you know what I'm saying, the BET Awards. Come on, like, let's, let's stop the nonsense. Let's, you know what I'm saying, present ourselves better, man. So motherfuckers don't look at us and be like, oh, all these dudes is just straight up ghetto trash. They'll have no type of um, self-respect, you know? That's all I got to say about it right now. If I missed anything, you know, you can comment below or whatever. Y'all can um, put your input on what y'all thought about this um, this year's BET Awards. Me, I thought that shit was boring. It really was. It wasn't really no memorable moments like that other than, like I said, the um, the tribute to Fra Frankie Beverly and Mays and Whitney Houston tribute. Whitney Houston tribute was real good, you know. And that's the other sad thing. <laughs> How the hell R&B was the one that livened up the show? You think it was supposed to be like hip-hop or uh, performance or whatever was supposed to liven up the show. R&B was what <laughs> livened up the damn show. That's some backwards shit. <laughs> I'm going to holler at y'all later on or whatever. More reviews on the way. You already know how I do. Peace out, motherfuckers. <laughs>